Hey YouTube, I hope everybody's doing well. If you're a first time visitor, thanks for stopping by. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button because like I always say, the more subscribers I get, the more I can brag to my kids. Uh, if you're a, re a return visitor, I really appreciate you coming back. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm out in my super dirty workshop. I had gotten the ambition to come out and start doing some cleaning, but uh, quickly decided to do something else in hopes that that uh, ambition would fade. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little preventative maintenance on my wood axe handles. All I do with those is I you know, I'll wipe them down, I'll coat them with linseed oil, and then uh, just let them sit and dry. And then the other thing I did is I, I found a nice uh, handle at the hardware store today. So we're actually going to uh, take that from just the plain Jane Collins axe to hopefully something that looks good. So stay tuned. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, put some linseed oil on the handles of my axes across this one. I always take a look at the axes they have. Uh, see if I can find any with some good uh, some good wood grain showing and I found this one. Uh, this is just a little two and a half pounder. Uh, this is actually the same axe as this one. Um, this is the axe I would take if I was just out in the woods bucking um, to drive in wedges or whatever. And then uh, this one right here, this is uh, this would be my wedge banger if I'm felling trees. I'd had considered taking a a wire wheel to this to, to clean this up but I didn't want to take away some of its character whoops so uh, after I get done uh, putting some linseed oil on the handles which I like to do periodically I'm gonna go ahead and make uh, this axe look similar to this axe so um, this is a pretty easy process I like to do this uh, just about well every time I get the handles or the wood wet uh, keeps it keeps it from rotting um, I use linseed oil you can use a lot of different other types of oils but those are those are more expensive especially for what I'm doing you know I'm just trying to keep something that I'll throw around in the woods getting all messed up right so anyway so all I do is I take some linseed oil I put it in my hand and I just wipe it down or I just uh, basically apply it like this and um, that's about it right let it soak in for a minute and then I'll take uh, a rag and I won't wipe it off completely but I'll just kind of lightly go over it like that okay to kind of get the excess off Just like that and then once that once you're done with the handle don't forget the top you definitely don't want this to dry out because if that con contracts after it dries out that's when the head can get loose uh, set this up here and let it dry should move my towels over and just let it dry so it's not a big deal to do that every so often like I said if I get the if I get the wood wet especially, I like to do that. You know, when I'm in the woods working um, half time, it looks like I'm having a yard sale. I got my stuff thrown all over the place. Um, so chances are that uh, they're not seeing the best life when I'm using them. Here's the axe I'm getting ready to do. Uh, if you can see, it's got some really nice wood grain showing here. That in, apply a little flame to this. Uh, I'm going to take it easy at first because I want to see if some of this wood grain will pop out. Oh, that is looking good. Sorry about that. If you can see here, you can see that the wood grain, the heat is basically charring the outline of the wood grain as we go up the handle. 
So that's exactly what I was hoping it would do when I saw this in the hardware store. First coat of linseed oil on there. And we'll see how it looks. Compare that with uh, what we had before and let me know in the comments uh, how you think it came out. Okay, so that's all there is to it. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I've posted some photos on Facebook and all that of uh, some of my axes and people seem to really like them. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a video of how I take a standard issue Collins axe from Ace Hardware and and with a little uh, effort and some fun, I think turn it into something that looks really good. Till next time, thanks.